everybody, my name is Beatrice and I am so happy you're here today to learn all about bees. Do you want to be my friend? Cool, what's your name? Well, I'm so happy you're here. And to start today's lesson about what bees do and who we are, I have a riddle for you. What is black and has gold stripes? translucent wings and has a signature furry body. You can find it in the woods, gardens, and all around the world. Give up? It's me! I'm a bee! And we're all over the world! Isn't that cool? We're often seen buzzing from flower to flower. We're very hard-working winged invertebrates. We're definitely not lazy. We're busy as bees. And we've been around for millions of years. That's right, I said millions of years. We're super old. And what have we been doing for millions of years? Pollinating plants, producing a sweet golden syrup that we call honey. Mmm, honey, 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 yum. And a world without us is sadly becoming more of a possibility and we need your help to save us. Do you want to save us? Awesome! I knew we were going to be great friends. Today we're going to learn all about ecosystems and our habitat and what you can do to help. I'm so excited to get started. So many people think that we are just simply the fuzzy, cute flying insects, I mean, which we are, that you see flying around in the warmer months. But we're actually so much more than this. In fact, we have a very important part to play in maintaining our planet. We're kind of like superheroes. Whereas trees and woods are essential to filter our air that we breathe, guess what? Bees are just as vital to pollinate the food we need to survive and pollinate many of the trees and flowers that provide habitat, which means home, to many of the wildlife. Now that you guys know a little bit about us, let's do a quiz. And if you need to stop the video to answer the question or to think about the question, please feel free to do so. Question one, are bees hardworking or are they lazy? Great job! Busy as a bee, I know I'm not lazy. Question two, how many years have bees been around? That's right, over a million. We sure are old, but that makes us wise too. Question three, are bees endangered? That means, are we in trouble? Sadly, yes, but I know you're going to help us, right? Let's continue learning. So what do bees do? When I say I'm busy as a bee, what does that mean? Well, we're pollinators. And we'll go on into more on what pollination is and how it works in another lesson. But basically, we pollinate a third of the food we eat and 80% of flowering plants. That's a lot of plants. Pollination is very important because many of our vegetables, fruits, and the crops that we feed our livestock rely on us to help grow it. So without us, we could go hungry. Vegetables such as broccoli and asparagus and cucumbers rely on pollination of bees, as do apricots, strawberries, apples, tomatoes, and almonds. While there are other types of pollination, including the wind, birds, bats, and other insects, Bees are among the most important pollinators because they're capable of pollinating on such a bigger scale. I told you we're superheroes. It's been estimated that it would cost farmers billions per year to manually pollinate their crops, which just is another reason why you need us. Let's take another quiz. If you need time to stop and think about the question, you can hit pause 
on the video. Question one, how much food do humans eat that bees pollinate? That's right, one third. That means that it is one in every three bites of food you put in your mouth, bees are responsible for. How cool is that? Question two, name a vegetable we pollinate. If you named any of the above, you are correct. Broccoli, asparagus, and cucumber are just a few. Question three, name a fruit that bees pollinate. That's right, there's so many right answers here. You could have said apricots, strawberries, apples, tomatoes, and almonds. Wow, you sure are smart. Let's continue learning. So you may have remembered me saying that bees are in a little bit of trouble. And so you may have been wondering why that is. Well, let me explain. Bees are in a little bit of trouble around the world. That means on a global scale, as we face many threats from our habitat loss. Do you remember what a habitat is? It's a place where animals and insects live. Many of the threats to bees are the same as the same threats to trees and woodlands. So saving the bees go hand in hand with saving trees. Isn't that neat? If threats aren't brought under control, we could be looking at a future without bees. And that would make me very sad. But I know you're going to help, right? So I know we talked a little bit about habitat loss, but what does that really mean? Well, for bees and other animals like me and insects, we rely on habitat, which is an area where we live and eat, and a lot of that is disappearing due to big farms and housing being built and trees being chopped down. Because did you know a lot of bees live in empty trees and they feed on all the flowers in the field? And when that disappears, there's nowhere for us to live or to eat. So let me ask you a few questions. What do you think the best way to help us would be? A, buy a beehive and become a bee farmer? B, plant native pollination seeds to flower for food for us? Or C, spray chemicals on all the weeds in your yards? That's right, B. If you really want to help the bees, we really need more food. Plant as many pots and gardens and trees as you possibly can. There are a lot of us in one colony and we get really hungry. Luckily, it's not too late to save us. Are you ready to become a superhero? There are lots of things you can do to help protect us, most of which can be done from the comfort of your own home. For example, if you have some pollination seeds, you can plant them in your own house right now and water them and watch them grow. And then when it gets a little warmer outside, you can transplant them either into a flower pot or in a garden. And guess what? You just filled my belly. Yum! I am so excited to have more food. And there's other ways too. You can provide shelter for us. Did you know that we need shelter to nest and hibernate in? You can create your own shelter or buy a ready-made bee insect house. Did you know that? And then all you have to do is just hang it up in a sunny sheltered spot in your garden and watch us fly in and out of the housing all spring and summer months. It'll be fun. I'm so happy that you guys tuned in today to learn a little bit about us. If you want to hear some more lessons, and meet my folks, then keep tuned because we're going to come to you and go more in depth on pollination, on honey production, on nectar, on pollen, and beekeepers and their cool outfits they wear because they're kind of like superheroes too. That's right.